Well, hello everybody. Steve here out in the garage. Uh, some of you heard that uh, on the way to Nashville, the air conditioning in the car broke. Hour and a half up the road, that thing's blowing nice hot air, nice hot humid air into the cabin. And uh, well, we just about aborted the trip to Nashville. I mean, it was so hot. And uh, the symptoms were just about unbearable. It was one of those hot, hot days on I-75. And I said to Beth, I don't know, something's happened. And uh, we need a diagnosis of this thing. We got to either fix it or get turned around. I phoned a friend who looked it up on the web and said, yeah, sometimes this happens. And uh, so anyway, uh, long story short, the symptoms led us to a diagnosis. The factory put too much refrigerant in and uh, the thing froze up and you had to keep turning the thing off. Anyway, we got to Nashville, as you know, and got back and got it over to the uh, dealership. And sure enough, they've been having this problem. So uh, yeah, it's all perfect now. But uh, here, here, here's, the, here's the deal. There were symptoms very, very hot in that cabin. Hot air blowing out where the air conditioning should have been blowing out. Diagnosis, too much refrigerant, got to drain the refrigerant and put the proper amount of refrigerant in the compressor. And uh, that, that was the remedy. So symptoms, diagnosis, remedy. Uh, that's what I'm going to be talking about this week from Ezra chapter 9. Scott and I have really gotten kind of uh, uh, fired up about Ezra, as Ezra was uh, used by God to uh, rebuild uh, the church of Jesus in his day. You and I have the uh, wonderful privilege of being part of rebuilding the church of Jesus in our day after, uh, well, there's just been loads of symptoms of a lot of difficulties all over the place, and we know the diagnosis, and so we're working toward the remedy. And uh, the remedy is to repent. In other words, we rebuild by repenting. That's the biblical story. You rebuild by repenting. What does it mean to repent? Well, to repent means to look at Jesus, to keep staring at Jesus, to keep looking at Jesus. Repentance isn't some kind of religious ritual like a penance you got to go through. That's all self-absorption. That ain't going to fix anything. Uh, if I hadn't gotten this to the dealership and had this properly fixed, it would still be hot as ever in that cabin. You got to have the right diagnosis and you got to have the right cure. And that's Jesus and his cross. And so because you and I sin every day, we've got to repent every day. Uh, it's like a uh, one a day multivitamin. You just got to do it every day. You got to keep looking at Jesus and seeing how much he loves you that he has total authority over your life. He's expressed his authority in his word, and he's gentle, and he's gracious, and he's merciful, unending mercy. I mean, it'll just keep on coming. And, uh, but you want to look to Jesus, and as you look at his love for you, it begins to melt you. It breaks down those things that are stirring you up inside, and uh, you repent, you turn. Uh, the Holy Spirit turns you. Uh, inside and you begin to say yeah I need to lay aside these things that are messing up my life uh, these symptoms that I'm experiencing are caused by certain behaviors in me and in others and the only remedy is to look at Jesus so if you want to get ready for Sunday like like uh, I'm getting ready for Sunday uh, I'm gonna get my head out of the car and uh, get back to the office and uh, just keep drinking Ezra chapter 9. And you see the cross of Jesus all over that chapter as Ezra calls out for the mercy of God, the remedy. Symptoms, diagnosis, remedy. See you Sunday. May God take care of you today. Blessings.